SPM, Form 5. Chemistry. Chapter 2, Carbon Compounds. In this video, we will summarize, the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 2, Carbon Compounds, in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn more about, Carbon Compounds. There are 9 main sections in this chapter. 2.1, Carbon Compounds. 2.2, Alkenes. 2.3, Alkenes. 2.4, Isomerism. 2.5, Alcohols. 2.6, Carboxylic Acids. 2.7, Ester. 2.8, Fats. 2.9, Natural Rubber. In section 2.1, we will learn about, the carbon compounds. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what carbon compound is, state that carbon compounds can be classified into two groups, that is organic and inorganic. State what organic compound is, gives examples of organic and inorganic carbon compounds. State what a hydrocarbon is, list the sources of hydrocarbon, and identify the combustion products of organic carbon compounds. Describe the systematic approach in naming members of homologous series, the order in the physical and chemical properties of compounds in homologous series. In section 2.2, we will learn about the alkanes. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what alkene is, state what structural formula is, deduce the molecular formulae of the first 10 alkanes, draw the structural formulae for the first 10 straight chain alkanes, and deduce the general formula of alkanes, and aim the first 10 alkanes. Relate changes in physical properties, with increase in the number of carbon atoms, in alkane molecules, explain the effect of the increase in number of carbon atoms, in alkane molecules on the molecule's boiling points. Describe complete, and incomplete combustion of alkanes. Describe the substitution reaction of alkanes. Write chemical equations for combustion and substitution reactions of methane. Describe how methane affects everyday life. In section 2.3, we will learn about the alkenes. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what alkene is, deduce the molecular formulae of the first nine alkenes, and deduce the general formula of alkenes. Name the first nine alkenes and draw the structural formulae for the first nine straight chain alkenes. Relate changes in physical properties with increase in the number of carbon atoms in alkene molecules. Explain the effects on boiling points of alkenes due to increase in the number of carbon atoms in alkene molecules. Describe chemical properties of alkenes. Compare and contrast alkenes with alkenes. Relate the creativities of alkanes and alkenes to their chemical bonds, and generalize the characteristics of homologous series, based on alkanes and alkenes. In section 2.4, we will learn about the isomerism. At the end of this section, you should be able to construct various structural formulae of a particular alkane and alkene. Explain what isomerism is. Use IUPAC nomenclature to name isomers. In section 2.5, we will learn about the alcohol. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the general formula of alcohols, identify the functional group of alcohols, and list the names and the molecular formulae of the first four alcohols. Draw structural formulae for isomers of propanol and butanol, and name isomers of propanol and butanol using IUPAC nomenclature. Describe the industrial production of ethanol. Describe the preparation of ethanol in the laboratory. State the physical properties of ethanol. Describe the chemical properties of ethanol. Predict the chemical properties of other members of alcohols. Explain with examples the uses of alcohols in everyday life and explain the effects of the misuse and abuse of alcohols. In section 2.6, we will learn about the carboxylic acids. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the general formula of carboxylic acids and identify the functional group of carboxylic acids. 
list the names and molecular formulae of the first four members of carboxylic acid, draw a structural formulae of the first four members of carboxylic acid, and name them using the IUPAC nomenclature. Describe the preparation of ethanoic acid in the laboratory, state the physical properties of carboxylic acids, state the chemical reactions of ethanoic acid with other chemicals, predict the chemical properties for other members of carboxylic acid, explain with examples the uses of carboxylic acids in everyday life. In section 2.7, we will learn about the ester. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the general formula of esters, identify the functional group of esters, and list the names and molecular formulae of simple esters. Draw a structural formulae of simple esters and name them using the IUPAC nomenclature. Describe the preparation of ester in the laboratory. State the physical properties of ethyl ethanoid. Predict the ester produced from the esterification reaction. Write equations for the esterification reactions. State the natural sources of ester and the uses of ester in everyday life. In section 2.8, we will learn about the fats. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what oils are and state what fats are. State the importance of oils and fats for body processes, state the sources of oils and fats, and list the uses of oils and fats. State the differences between oils and fats. Identify structural formulae for fat molecules of certain fatty acids. State what saturated fats are, and state what unsaturated fats are. Compare and contrast between saturated and unsaturated fats. Describe the process of changing unsaturated fats to saturated fats. Describe the effects of eating food high in fats on health. Describe the industrial extraction of palm oil and justify the use of palm oil in food production. In section 2.9, we will learn about the natural rubber. At the end of this section, you should be able to draw the structural formula of natural rubber, state the properties of natural rubber, state the uses of natural rubber, describe the coagulation process of latex, and describe the method used to prevent latex from coagulating. Describe the vulcanization of rubber, describe how the presence of sulfur atoms changes the properties of vulcanized rubber, and compare and contrast the properties of vulcanized and unvulcanized natural rubber. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.